Buongiorno a tutti ragazzi, io sono Led Bad Whale e benvenuti con un altro video di The Walking Dead. L'ultima volta ci eravamo intenuti per andare a controllare questo perimetro. Oggi finalmente ci andremo. Well, hopefully he'll calm down once he's out here. Eccolo qua il primo problema. Perché c'è questa freccia? Lo scoprirete quando mm. a questo video. Guardate, Lee, bello fritto. Come on, let's push it off. Looks like he's stuck. Looks like he's stuck. Once this fence is patched up, this place will be a fortress. God, can you imagine not having to worry about the walkers anymore? It's dangerous. True, but it's also dangerous to the walkers. So what's your take on the brothers? They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. We've got enough people to take this place by force if we have to. Sheesh, Lee. You sound like Kenny. There's another one. I see it. You never get used to the smell, do you? <laughs> nope. Christ. I can't stop thinking about dinner. Would have been nice to get some of those rations. I get hungry too. Just try to focus on the task. They knew what they were doing, teasing us with food and then giving us chores. Uh, having a good meal will be worth it. Come on, I think I see where they're getting in. This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's tangled up in there pretty good. Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Mr. Crispy off of here. I think we'd get better leverage from the other side. Good idea. <clears throat> If you're waiting for that guy to help, it ain't gonna happen. Come on. Little help here, Lee? Take him and I'll be shame off. Guardate, mi scusate che non più torno a freccia perché in questi giochi ve l'ho detto che ci sono solo gente psicopatica e questi qua sono propriamente degli psicopatici veri e propri, sono dei banditi che troveremo spesso nel gioco, soprattutto nel terzo capitolo avremo a che fare con loro. Penso che non conoscere la loro presenza. What happened? Shit. One of the dead we pushed down earlier. Gonna have to move him. Questo 
siamo dati in precedenza, è uno di noi vecchi di The Walking Dead, noi siamo come dei dead della guerra in quanto uno zombie non ci si puniva, guardate questo qua che fine che farà, abbiamo strappato il mio mani nude. Ed è brutto la situazione. Non ce l'ha fatta, è stato preso da una freccia di testa dei morti sul suo figlio di Stano. E così abbiamo conosciuto anche i banditi. Ricordate di questo personaggio perché un po' non lo vedremo. Oh my god, what happened? Perché per un po' non lo vedremo. Vedrete dopo cosa gli sarà successo. Non ve lo dico, ma ve lo farò vedere, vi spiegherò il punto con calma quando ci arriveremo. We'll have you all sorted out. What? You must be the best. We ran into some people on the way up here. They gave us a lot of problems in the beginning. Killed a bunch of our farmhands. We were able to get them to stop by making a deal. What you do about these people? Food for protection. Not like we had much of a choice, but they did stop hassling us. God damn it. Carly said this place was locked down tight. It was just a fluke thing. You can't stop assuming there aren't bad people out there. What the hell do you mean a fluke? It could have happened anywhere. Could have happened to us in the motor inn. Listen, we may have had an agreement with those people, but we will not stand for this shit. Ain't no way we're gonna let those sons of bitches get away with this. You know where these assholes are? They're hard to pin down. And I think I know where at least one of their camps are. When you're ready to go scope out that bandit camp, come find us. Bandits? Are you serious? This place isn't safe. We can't stay here. Not safe? This place is a hell of a lot safer than that motoring. I think all of us and our guns can handle a couple of punks with bows and arrows. What we need to do is find a way to get our whole group out here to stay. Take this place over if we have to. Whoa, call your jets there, Rambo. These are nice people. Let's not do anything to get us thrown out before we eat. I'm gonna head out and help Dan deal with these bandits. You guys to try to make friends with Andy and Brenda while I'm gone. Well, that's easy. I got charm coming out of my ass. Yeah, that's real charming, Dad. Where's Ben and Carly? Since Carly and Ben ate some of the food on the way to get us, she volunteered to stay behind and watch the motor in until we get back. Hey, uh, I remember seeing kids in your group, so I went ahead and fixed that swing while you were out. I hope your kids like swings. A swing? I love swings, just like at my treehouse. Come on, Doc. Why don't you kids go and play on the swing, huh? Yeah. Thanks. Anytime. We're looking out for you. Sure, when? One day, things have got to get back to normal. That's 
said, I hope it's soon. Yeah, me too. How are you holding up that time? I'm okay, I guess. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm just a little worried about Mark. Is Mark going to be okay? We've been lucky out there. It would have been a lot worse. Are you going to find the people who hurt Mark? Then we have to make sure they don't hurt anyone else. Be careful. I want you to stay lucky, too. Ever since I met you, I've had good luck, so don't worry. Okay. All right, Claire. That's enough for now. Okay. Thanks for pushing uh, me. Of course. It's all yours. Yeah! Okay, Doug. Don't pop a gasket. Bene ragazzi, e per questo terzo e per questo altro video di Walking Dead vi saluto. Ciao!